so uh, as everybody knows uh, what is human resource what is the function of human resource human resource means uh, this is a management all uh, people working uh, in the company in any company so this is all about the human resources how we can just uh, facilitate them and how we can manage the entire data uh, regarding uh, their appointments re regarding their leaves le regarding their attendance how we can manage it how a company can manage or how uh, our team members can Im can interact with to the company so uh, this is all about this thing so we'll start uh, from dashboard this is a dashboard of Borg ERP human resource module wherein uh, the city is showing total number of employees uh, on road and here employees on contract here uh, employees on leave today and total claim so this is all about the uh, dashboard here it will show the uh, number of leaves taken applied today and uh, here the asset issued to employees it will show here in the list so we'll start with uh, employee on role so there are as uh, there are three kind of uh, enrollment of employees in the company one is uh, uh, they may be on uh, on role they may be on contract or they may be on training so the, the, there are three kinds of association uh, uh, majorly in the company for for any employee so this is a thing uh, we need to explore today employee on role means uh, they have uh, they are on roll means they are permanent so as we know all uh, sometimes we appoint uh, people so uh, in case we are uh, disappointing uh, anybody in our company uh, on roll so there are a lot of formalities there there are a lot of things to do uh, so the, this payroll things is entirely different uh, than others kind of association association so uh, we explain it so the first first job for hr is to uh, the uh, to monitor and to collect detail from uh, new joint employer and uh, record it uh, for, uh, for their uh, you know future references and uh, some people is collecting uh, only the hard copies only and they are not maintaining database at all and if you are do if you are not doing in uh, in the system if you are not using any system so what happened uh, most of the missed it uh, so, and sometimes you are not able to collect uh, all details which is required and sometimes uh, we don't feel uh, the requirement of these details to be collected from the employee but at the same time uh, sometimes it happens very uh, critical uh, so all HR uh, people are requested to collect each and every possible detail from the HR and most probably most nowadays uh, the most of the companies are hiring the investigative and verifica uh, verification agency uh, for their background verification so for that thing also you need to collect the entire detail which is possible as much as possible so that you can uh, you can assure your company uh, that you that you you are going to have authenticated people and uh, uh, authenticated background so this is required for this thing so if we talk about the uh, employee on road so what will happen that we need to fill the information first uh, so how we can need the uh, how, how can we fill the information the so first we collect the information from the employee and uh, what will happen we click on plus sign so it will show the form so this is a form it will start from here for example others i'm taking example over here now text one and uh, they have date of birth we can mark it anything over here for example today's that i can enter or it is a mail uh, reporting manager anything mr x job job type is permanent because we are just entering detail uh, for the uh, employees who are enrolled so now we click on next and it will ask for more detail to be filled over here it will ask the photograph passport set photograph to be uploaded from here and the first name you already have entered in the first means when uh, the most of the HR people are knowing this first we if we hire anybody 
on a, a role so what happened uh, just we'll hire uh, permanent and we'll put them on probation first they, uh, for a certain period some people are just marking it three months sometimes six months some some companies are also doing for one year so uh, but you can just put you can select any option over here in a status uh, if it is in a probation then put out uh, that we can select it probation then uh, if it is confirmed then you can put it confirm uh, for example uh, this we are just taking it up uh, taking uh, that employee as a probation so date of joining you can enter then probation period you can enter uh, confirmation date you can enter whenever it is uh, when that employee is scheduled to be confirmed so you can enter email mobile number emergency contact person emergency contact number so sometimes uh, if we don't have any, any kind of system so we forget to take any emergency contact details in case of emergency then uh, we fail to inform uh, their parents or their family so this, this is uh, uh, very much uh, you know the paramount important to collect these kind of details for the emergency uh, situation uh, uh, to be contacted to their family so in any case uh, it is need, it, it is needed we can we can use it so contact emergency contact person the emergency contact number father's name spouse name if they have blood group uh, medical fitness uh, whether uh, that person uh, whom you are going to hire so uh, you know that is medically fit or unfit permanent at permanent address and then a correspondence address now uh, these are employment details uh, employee full name employee code uh, that this, uh, this is also not in the practice of SMEs we have seen many places uh, we don't assign any code to the employee so we have to make it in a practice whenever we can we can mark a series uh, uh, of the code uh, whenever any employee is joining you, uh, your organization you must assign a employee code first uh, then designation or department which department uh, you are hiring for grade grade of the employee so this is not compulsory but if you are making it grading system so that is very very easier to manage their promotions and uh, their uh, payroll uh, things uh, based on grade so because in some some organization uh, who have the the function who have the you know uh, the minus system so they have decided their salary based on the grades so if any person is falling in uh, grade g1 so they have a different uh, pay, uh, the different salary structure if they they are falling in G, g2 grade 2 so they they have a different uh, you know uh, the salary structure payroll things so uh, and the facilitate facilitate uh, a lot of facilities also uh, are different for uh, different grades so we need to define just for the eg management and uh, uh, it it is very useful for the organization also location means uh, uh, the person who um, the person who uh, we are hiring so where we need to uh, you know uh, locate that guy, uh, for example, any company has uh, his office in two or three places. So where that organization, that uh, organization is uh, placing that guy. So you need to put over here that location. Now here there are there are so many kind of uh, leaves in different different organizations. So the most popular type of leaves are here casual leave, and here the PL means privileged leave and uh, sl means sick leave lw means a leave without pay pal means paternity leave mal means maternity leave so uh, you need to find out you need to uh, discuss with your uh, directors owner or concerned person you need to finalize what kind of leads we are going to uh, provide to our team member so that it must be in a managed way now uh, the P if your organization is uh, entitled for PF and ESI, so you can mark the the PF PF and ESI details. Uh, so these ESI number, PF number, each and everything is there. So you can uh, you can mark it. You can select as per your organization requirement. Now, if we scroll down, so here the salary detail is there. This is a salary calculator. For example, others I am putting basic salary of you know. Uh, 
15 thousand say uh, here hra so we need to we all know the hra must be in the percentage of the basic salary in metro city most of most of the organization are providing uh, 60 to 70 percent you can we, you can put 60 percent education allowance if your company is providing and they have provision of education loans you can enter or we can you can market zero and for example transport allowance some uh, companies are doing for example five thousand you are doing the uh, you know transport allowance bonus if you are doing bonus you can put it for example two thousand in a month and compensatory allowance if you are giving you can uh, you can uh, fill it otherwise you can leave it vehicle along if the vehicle maintenance allowance you are giving for example 1500 rupees so this is now you can see here the gross monthly salary it it will uh, uh, become now 32500 and the annual month annual uh, sorry uh, gross annual salary is uh, 390000 so uh, this is a salary calculator so you can calculate uh, salary of your uh, employees now uh, the educational details are there you, you need to fill it here one uh, row is visible if you want to add more rows you can uh, click on add more so like that you can uh, you can enter entire details uh, of uh, the, the person who is joining you so uh, education details are there so if you're not if you don't require so you can cross it now uh, the employment details is there in the uh, last organization employment details uh, so you can uh, ask them to fill organization name designation name from to and what was your annual ctc so you can ask them to fill family details uh, the how many members are in your family name relations and then occupation then date of birth so uh, it has some psychological you know the analysis for the hr person to uh, to have the you know the entire uh you know entire uh, uh, the, the, the consideration or you can say the entire uh, uh background detail of that guy uh, now the professional references are there most of the organization uh, uh, asks this thing from the new joining so here you can ask them to reference to be given everywhere in company where uh, where you are whenever we join so you can ask for this thing so what you can do first actually we are not asked we can't uh, give this detail to be filled to the employee so what our customers are doing most of the customers are doing they are taking this detail in a hard copy and thereafter uh, hr person you need to fill in this uh, form so uh, like way if you are taking all details so we uh, we can have entire uh, database of that employee so this is all about the profile of the employee including the salary structure and all so this is very much important and most of the organization if you talk about the small and medium organization so they, uh, they skip this portion but that is most important what they do they just collect a resume they uh, they collect some academic and professional certificates or experience letter and uh, of last employer if uh, they have and thereafter they the staple it and they keep it in a box so actually that doesn't work so uh, anytime in, in any situation that those documents can get missed uh, missed from the place and they can misplaced so in that case we must have all information over here and this all information the basic information of that uh, employee also visible to the employee dashboard so what borg erp does uh, borg erp also provide one account to be given to each and every employee of the organization so so that they can uh, see their basic details. What is my employee code? What is my designation? What's my what's my department grade and location? Full name and whatever it is. So they can know how many leaves uh, I'm entitled for and how can I, how can I leaves I have taken. These all things are also visible in the employee uh, dashboard. If we can take, for example, if you give me one second so I can log into the employee or uh, we can take it later. Uh, just first let us go through this one. Thereafter, I'll show you the employee dashboard also. The same way, if we talk about the employee contract, so employee contract, again, we can go to uh, the plus sign. And thereafter, the so same way as we have done earlier, 
so you, we can mark detail one more thing actually i skipped uh, from here by mistake so here uh, for example you have multiple employees so it's very difficult to fill all information by one by one so here we have uh, upload things also so uh, you can download uh, the sample from here uh, in actual sheet and that that must be in csv format and you can open it so you not you know uh, required all things to be uh, fill here the basic details you can upload it let later on uh, you have to manually enter uh, all detailed information of that uh, uh, newly joined employer so these are the things like full name dob gender reporting uh, manager job type date of joining mobile emergency contact number these are these are the, the key uh, points of the profile you can upload it and rest of the things like educational qualification and the family background and the references you need to fill manually over here so uh, from here then from this excel site excel sheet you can just uh, update it and you can upload it so you have uh, the basic details uh, of you know your employee uploaded at one go so 27 uh, you can see 27 columns are there so you can uh, just maintain this database and you can upload it so it will be uploaded at one go uh, regardless of how many employees you have if you have uh, two or you have 200 it doesn't matter so you can prepare this database and you can upload in a one go uh, so after uploading this file uh, the, after just preparing this file you can choose file from here and uh, uh, for example uh, this one so you can choose, choose and you can click on upload file and it will get uploaded from here you can also the market whether they, they, these guys on probation or these can confirm if you have uh, so many people on probation and so many people are confirmed so you can prepare a separate sheet and you can select it and upload it so from here you can uh, you can also bulk upload in case of any need if uh, anything for any uh, requirement you need to download the details you can download from here from the blue box so if you click on here so all details will be downloaded from here you can search it uh, if you want to find out the employees list uh, who on who are on probation so you can just uh, select probation you can uh, search it if you want to uh, find out the employees who had joined in between particular periods so you can also uh, uh, you can also you know uh, search, uh, uh, you can also search from here you can also filter from here so this is this is all things of profiling of any employee the same way uh, it goes with the trainee also now just we are coming to next to next option uh, this is a holiday calendar holiday calendar means uh, this includes all leaves holidays of your company and that is also visible to all employees that uh, in their dashboard so that uh, all employees can plan with their uh, holidays or leave accordingly uh, for example uh, uh, your company uh, just provide a holy holiday now how many days two days uh, from which date and from or to uh, which date so you if you are marking this one so that is also visible to employees so they can find out so the, uh, we also suggest uh, companies to prepare this holiday calendar so uh, it, it it gives some psychological relief for employee they can guess or they can uh, you know plan their holidays accordingly uh, now the leave management leave management is, that, that's very crucial so now uh, what is the leave management leave management means there are two kinds of uh, option to apply a leave uh, if organization is giving uh, dashboard to their employees so they have a provision to apply uh, leaves from their dashboard only and thereafter the hr has a right to up either approve or reject or ask for replan that leave so that will also notify that employee in an email and sms also uh, whether uh, if leave is approved or rejected or asked for replan so that that the, the system the borg erp will notify the employee uh, accordingly uh, now an, another option is that if 
any company in any case is not giving uh, this uh, dashboard to the employee so hr can apply uh, from here click on uh, plus sign then uh, select the employee it is also visible employee code and employee name so you can select the uh, the, the concerned employee who is applying for leave then leave type whether it's a combo for pl cl sl rwp pl ml whatever it is now uh, the region for leave then from date and to date so uh, and if manager is not available so what will happen this will notify to the hr to 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 either approve or reject or ask for a replan so if uh, manager is not available then hr is responsible if manager is a uh, manager manager means the reporting manager in that case uh, that that right is also available with the reporting manager of that person and you can click on request leave so leave will be applied and after applying it will be uh, looks like this uh, now if for example uh, this has been set to the modify now if i if uh, now i want to approve it so i can click on this one it will ask for uh, this now uh, i can click on okay now what will happen uh, now this leave is approved uh, if leave is not approved so it will not be counted in a uh, in a payroll system means the salary will not be affected at all so uh, the salary will be prepared based on the approved leave only now uh, here if for example any company is uh, or a, 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 any person is uh, you know entitled for 2 cl in a month so if uh, he is only taking 2 cl then salary will not be affected if he is taking uh, 3 cls means 1 cl extra then salary will be detected and this is also up to the hr manager if hr manager uh, wants to get affected in this system this uh, salary cutting system based on the attendance uh, so uh, he can activate or deactivate these kind of settings you know uh, you can say some we have payroll settings also so i'll come when i'll come into the payroll so this is a holiday now we can see the summary of you know on the leaves how many leaves have been taken by uh, home now for example this krishna singh employee code is this uh, opening balance of leave for this month uh, uh, is this and the leave availed is this and closing balance is this so for example this employee 22 this this having opening balance for this month uh, two and the balance uh, the pl balance is four so now the, nobody has availed because this is a demo account so nobody has availed any leave so uh, it will be kindly forward forward as it is so this is all about the leaves now we'll move to the attendance attendance how we can mark it there are uh, three uh, ways to mark attendance in the board for example either uh, we can mark it manual from here uh, employee name the hr some uh, some organization have only five or six or ten people so what they do they just keep uh, keep signing uh, attendance on the paper and by end of the day or by end of the uh, month they just update this attendance in the uh, in the erp uh, for preparing of the salary so you can you can you know uh, the select the employee then date and then the time over here and punch in time and punch out uh, one option is that second option that you can you upload, can upload you can upload from here uh, for example some people or some organization have you know on the biometric machine so uh, that is uh, there are two kind of biometric machine that uh, that is connect, one is connected to from the local network and one uh, second type is one is also connected to the uh, outside means to the internet so if that biometrics is at, uh, attached uh, so, sorry uh, that biometric is uh, accessible through the net okay so that can be indicated in the erp and uh, whenever you punch your attendance uh, in the biometric that automatically will be uh, you know marked in this erp and second one is if your biometric machine is connected to only LAN, uh, 
through the, your uh, local network. So what will happen? You'll have to download attendance and you have to upload it. And how we can upload here again, the click here to download sample CSV file. So if we click, if you click on that, there's a sample, uh, you have to prepare all attendance system based on this uh, uh, format, then you need to uh, select here the, you know, the month, which month you are going to upload then year. And then after you can choose file from here and upload it. So this is a very easy way. And uh, uh, the last one is, you can we have uh, you know the mobile app also for the attendance so if uh, employee your uh, all employees are installing that uh, android app in their mobile so they can mark attendance on the mobile so it will come with the you know uh, at time as well as the place from where they are marking attendance so in that case for example here uh, punching uh, has been done today at 4 8 pm now if i'm uh, i i can show you demo of uh, over here employee um, you know if they are uh, employer punching from the mobile app so i'm showing you as i'm opening my uh, mobile app from here uh, here you can see the punch out is blank if i'll mark my attendance through mobile application so uh, punch out will come automatically. Okay, let me log in. So this is basically useful for uh, employees who are uh, working from remote areas, means uh, they are operating in a field. So that is more useful for them. Now, uh, let me check. Now wait for some time because uh, it takes a little bit time because in my mobile there's just some network issues. So I'll see you in the end. I'll show you in the end. Uh, okay, let yeah, fine. It can. Now if I'm marking, so you can see here. Uh, you can see the punching over here. I have done. I have done punching. You can see the punching is here right now. Five eleven. I have done from my mobile app. And I can same way I can punch out if I'm punching out. So you can say uh, here punching out. Now working hours is equal to zero. So uh, like way we can punch in and punch out from mobile app also. So this is all about the uh, you know attendance. Now attendance uh, you can. Uh, download from here in case of need or as we discussed you can upload from here you can add it from here you can delete in case uh, HR means HR admin can do this, these all things management and HR uh, the, the employee can't do from their dashboard so, and employee also can see their attendance and their leaves from their dashboard I'll show you at end of uh, from this end uh, when this session will get end now the payroll things is there what is the payroll payroll means the entire uh, pf uh, hra esi and uh, you know uh, the leaves management attendance is everything will be included in the payroll so there are two options where you can see the prepare salary one is prepare bulk salary and third one is the view salary slip and third one is tedious exemption so tedious exemptions is a little bit difficult and critical so we'll cover it uh, most probably in the next week uh, in the advanced training of hr so th this is today we uh, this we are uh, discussing about the basic things of hr uh, so in 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 a month or uh, within a month we plan for the second version of training so we'll discuss in more detail uh, about this uh, in that training we'll discuss about the tedious thing so i'll go with the uh, simple things basic things 
so what you can do uh, if uh, you are preparing for example uh, basic salary salary uh, payroll means uh, payroll things salary you are preparing salary of employee so what we need to do uh, you can just select any of the employee if you are doing one by one make sure and for the december month or you can mark it november month for for example and 2019 if you submit this one so all details will be you know will be shown here automatically will be fetched from their profile basic salary hra is this then transport allowance zero educational allowance zero and whatever is you have uh, you are uh, you know uh, entered over there in in the particular profile then it will be fetched from there so now you can see over here no paid leave is zero means uh, there is no no paid leave all all leaves are paid if someone has applied leave without pay so it it will be uh, visible over here so now you can select the date date of a salary where uh, when you are generating for example today you are generating incentive you can put it because this is variable everyone so you can put a uh, incentive performance sharing scheme on option is there if some people some organizations are practicing this thing uh, based on the performance they pay uh, monthly or uh, half yearly or annually so if you are not entitled uh, for this thing or your company is not Uh, practicing this thing you can mark it zero if arrears are there you can you can uh, enter over here pf protection it is there 1800 for this employee esi detection it is having 260 tds is zero uh, and other detection is zero no paid leave detection zero and the salary net salary before detection is 20000 and total deduction is 2062 and net pay salary is Seventeen thousand eight hundred. For example, I'm preparing the uh, salary for this employee. So I click on prepare salary, and salary is prepared. Now you can see I have prepared this one. So we can download from here the uh, salary slip for that particular employee. This one. So there is a provision. This is a salary slip. We can uh, either mail from here directly to that employee in case of uh, any need. or we can we, we can uh, click on print document if you click on print print document for example i have clicked over here so it uh, automatically you can select printer and you can uh, print salary slip and you can give your employee and uh, uh, you can also save this uh, salary slip as a pdf in your system so this is all this is automatic automatic generated salary slip uh, when you are preparing salary for that employee in the board vrp now uh, for example i'm just uh, we have a lot of you know strength of the employee means the 100 250 or something like that so we can select a month from here uh, date sales salary date then here month then year then we can submit here after submission and over here uh, we can mark hra incentive variables we have to enter one by one we first we have to prepare this list thereafter we can select here prepare salary date month and year and click on submit so uh, so all employee whether it is uh, 2 or 2000 or 200 so at at one go uh, all salary uh, slips will be you know uh, completed <coughs> uh, prepared salary will be prepared for all employee and you can download salary slip in case of need one by one so this is all about the payroll this is a basic payroll system now tds is there tds will cover in the next meeting because uh, now uh, we can't cover each and everything in this one because this is very lengthy system now the asset asset management asset management means uh, most of the company issued to laptop mobile or bags or other things to their employee so uh, uh, it's very difficult to track them so uh, org erp has a provision to track their uh, assets for example you were just giving one laptop to any of your employees so the, uh, from where you can manage and these all things also visible to uh, you know uh, in the employee dashboard how much and what they have taken from now we can click on plus one you can uh, select over here the employee asset type as a time means either laptop mobile or anything you can uh, you can you can enter anything over here so uh, for example laptop 
asset uh, issued asset management uh, uh, what, what is the asset you can over here you know type description of that asset whatever it is and the asset id because all assets are managed in in the company based on their ids tags so you can mark it over here asset id then asset value so what is the value of that asset at the time of handing over to the employee so in case of any damage or in case of any uh, uh, loss uh, you uh, the employee also have uh, you know the mindset that i need to pay this much because uh, the uh, when i uh, i was issued this asset asset so that was a price what's the depreciation depreciation will be calculated based on that the employee has to reimburse so this depends on the company you know the internal policies whether they are taking back where they they are taking damaged one or whatever it is so that is a different case but the borg erp does facilitate each and every enterprises to manage on the entire asset issued to the employee so asset value can be over here entered uh, asset status what the status uh, what the issued lost what uh, what is the asset uh, status of that uh, asset then the issue date and the valid till date or uh, what date it will be valid uh, on that one and that after that uh, that employee has to uh, has to uh, you know not return back to the company so you can enter from here now uh, it will it will be managed by H, uh, hr entirely the, there are two kind of uh, assets one is uh, returnable and second one is non returnable so for example uh, some companies are giving bag but th those bag are not returnable so uh, over here there is a one option over here you can say that here return uh, column is there so if you are marking it to return so clicking on over return so that issue that uh, that asset will be added in the company stock again uh, and you can reissue to someone else if it is unreturnable so you can uh, it will not be, be visible over here so there are two kind of assets so you can mark it accordingly now uh, reimbursement is there for example in every uh, companies we have seen there is uh, some certain kind of claims employee has to claim for example local local convenience or uh, uh, travel or uh, when they are going outside daily so they have to uh, uh, they have to you know claim their expenses hotel expenses uh, food lunch whatever it is so um, in every organization people are just claiming uh, uh, their uh, expenses so what they do uh, generally if they any company does not have any system what they do they just uh, uh, they apply or claim on the, uh, based on their uh, particular format or they, they maintain it in a hard copy but again uh, hard copy is not safe and that is not trackable uh, it's very difficult if you're not in the office you can't track each, anything and that can be misplaced so uh, there's a provision in the borg erp on that uh, employee itself you know uh, can apply uh, their claim from their dashboard thereafter like uh, like in the leave details there, there's a one provision to claim either uh, you know either uh, approve or reject uh, approve and approve or modify so uh, if uh, hr is approved uh, setting it approved so it will be automatically approved and if hr is setting you know uh, you know unapproved so it will be not approved so documents the supporting documents must be handed handed over uh, to hr physically and uh, the claim can be applied from here so that can be tracked once uh, this claim is uh, you know uh, approved so automatically it it will move to the account department so that account department can plan for reimbursement uh, based on their policy whether with the salary or weekly fortnightly whatever internal policy is there they can uh, reimburse that uh, claim of employee which has been uh, you know uh, applied so th this is a claim and for example uh, in any case, uh, the company is not providing uh, employee to the dashboard. So what happened? Uh, HR also has a provision to 
apply the employee claim from here. For example, I want to um, apply claim for employee two, then I can put over here. Now I uh, I can select any of them and you can enter any new claim, whatever it is. For example, then if you will, I can put a description over here, detailed description, date, uh, claim date, and then what is the amount thereafter. If I'll submit this form, the claim will, will be applied. So there are two ways to apply the claim or reimbursement for the employee. Either employee can apply from uh, their side or HR can also plan or you know uh, apply from their dashboard. So this is all about the reimbursement. Now, th there are so many uh, you know, uh, uh, things in there, uh, uh, reporting things in there. Mm. Uh, the admin can or a HR can do uh, what are, what are the uh, analytical reports there are a lot of analytical reports there so based on the duration uh, the HR can monitor or any admin can monitor a company admin can monitor what is the working uh, percentage what is the non working percentage of that particular employee so in a particular uh, duration so that can be tracked from here, there are uh, other, other reports also. Attendance, it is the algo attendance. This salary, st salary stats also there. Leave stats also there. How many leaves uh, have been applied by uh, which employee in a particular uh, duration? So uh, that also can be tracked. All right. Uh, we can we can enter date from here. So based on date, here data is not there. That's why it's not visible. It is visible in the table form as, as well as in a graphical form. So they, these are reports, uh, employment type reports. Uh, how many people are permanent? How many people are tra in trainee? And what is the, their percentage? Here, uh, 25 people in uh, means 92.6% are permanent. Uh, and one is trainee, that is 3.7%. And one is con contract, 3.7%. Uh, seven percent. So this is a list of, you know, per, uh, employee uh, in a permanent or uh, contract or training. So reimbursement, visual reimbursement data uh, is also there. So you can track it. So for example, for this employee, and you can select a month for which month you want to track reimbursement for that particular employee. So you can do it from here. It will visually employee ID name and particulars. And thereafter, the payroll detection is also there. TDS exemptions so, so report is also there. So this is all about the uh, HR task, uh, you know, uh, to monitor and tracking of employee performance and employee, uh, you know, on the record. So this is all about the human resource. Now, I just I want to show. Uh, just let me check uh, one user. If it is there live in individual live, so I can show you the employee dashboard also. How employee dashboard is visible. Okay, uh, testing. You can see this one, this employee uh, user ID is this. So let me find out password is 1234. So let me log in in a different browser. Now I can log in from here. User ID is this one, two, three, four is a password for this employee. So let me save this one. So this is an employee dashboard uh, over here. Uh, the uh, employee can manage their profile, view services, and change password. Change password can be changed. And if I click on him, so oh. For uh, your account is disabled, please contact to administrator. Means uh, this user does not have right to access HR. So I'll go to the set user privileges over here, text is more HR. So I click on uh, HR things and I update it. So most probably now they, uh, that uh, particular employee will be able to, if uh, this is also a thing, if you if we want to restrict access for any employee, so you you can uncheck and update it. So that employee can't 
access their HR thing. I'll, I'll refresh it. And now again, I'll click on HR. Now you can see the, the privilege is granted. Now you can see this is a dashboard. So employee will be uh, knowing over here what are the current month working hours for me, right? What are the uh, uh, current month total leaves and current month issued asset and current month claim applied. What are the claim applied in a current month? So the employee can see what are the leave, uh, uh, leave also will be listed over here, right? Over here, leave also will be listed over here. Asset also will be listed over here in, in the asset. Now, this is a dashboard. Now I'll go to the personal details. So employee means me can also mod, uh, can see these details. Uh, employee can't modify anything, but he can see, he or she can see. This, these are data, basic details he can see, right? You can see here. Salary structure also he can see. What is my basic salary? What is my HRA percentage? What is my age allowance? What is my transport allowance? These are the basic details uh, the employee can see and monitor. And you can see uh, the leap calendar. What is my company leap calendar over here? You can see over here, a leap calendar here. And from date to date, number of employees and leave remarks, the holy chutti. This is a DP Durga Puja and Ganesh Puja and the taste, the Shara leave. So uh, this kind, uh, so when if any enterprises, you know, uh, this uh, preparing this holiday calendar, so employee can monitor and they can plan their holiday accordingly. Now here leave record is there. How many, uh, 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 how many leaves I have been given CL and uh, uh, PL, SL, LWP and PL, how many leaves I have given, I have been given and I have taken. So these are leaves. Now, if uh, then I'll, I, I, I'll told you that time. So employee can apply a leave from here. So uh, employee can apply leave from here. Here leave type, which leave I want CL and the region for leave then from date and to date and if it will submit then it will go, go to over here for example i can take it i can uh, region for leave uh, so for example uh, no uh, unwell okay region is date is uh, today for example we can mark it if i am requesting leave leave is requested right if i'll uh, go to the admin okay and uh, i'll go to the hr then i'll go to the minus leave so hr will be visible this leave you can see you can see i have applied my leave from here so you can see here is now uh, it's a uh, hr call whether uh, the leave can be approved uh, can be approved or rejected or ask for the re, uh, replan. If I'm approving it, then it will be counted as approved. Now, if I'll see over here, so you can see the status, right? Now, if I'll re refresh it, so you can see here. Up now, the up, uh, approved uh, if it is approved and now not allowed for modification. If it is marked with the modification. Uh, by the HR, then it uh, it will uh, the ERP will provide option to that employee for modification. So this is option for leave. The same way, attendance also can be monitored uh, by employee. Uh, punch in date, punch in, punch out, and what are my working hours? So th that can be uh, managed. And what are the is is uh, assets has been issued to me? Can we monitor? and apply uh, the claim can be also applied by employee or your telephone bill and then uh, description then where your the date and the amount and do to submit submit the form if there are so many things like it's a telephone bill from where it can be added more so in a single uh, for example comments is also there you can you can apply from here uh, if anything is there mobile bill is also there you can apply like that so the employee can apply from here and if, if the company is not giving this access to the employee so hr also can apply from uh, admin from their dashboard 
so view claim can be view if any policy document is there so uh, the uh, employee has access uh, to read out the employee policies for uh, provided by the companies so these all are things uh, can be done in the hr hope oh, uh, uh, this will be understood uh, to all and uh, in the next version, we'll be covering the more, more uh, the uh, the more deep detail of that module. Thank you, thank you for attending. Thank you all.